Right, there's been a lot of talk uh, around the forums at the moment about night shift mode being an, uh, a really good solution to blocking blue light for after dark. Um, I want to prove that that is actually not true at all. So I've got my iPhone here. Um, as you can see, um, no night shift, shift mode is on here. So I'm going to test it with the spectrometer. So without night shift mode, that is, the, that is the spectral analysis of that, uh, of that iPhone. So as you can see, huge spike in the blue and the green zone. Really bad for after dark, really bad for during the day as well. So now I'm gonna sh pop on night shift mode. So you can see now that the color has shifted. Um, they've removed what appears or what they say is all of the blue. So let's test it. As you can see, majority of the blue is gone, but look at that spike at the 440, 450 mark. That is where the, the, the ultimate melatonin disruption zone starts. As you can see at 530, even at the bottom end of the blue and into the green, it's still not blocking that. So if people say, you know, stick it on night shift mode and you can, you know, you don't have to wear blue light blocking glasses after dark, you're gonna be very much mistaken. The only way to do it is to wear blue blocker glasses after dark with the red lenses, um, much like our Sleep Plus ones. Um, and if you don't, and if you just rely on night shift mode and have even have all your red lights on in your house, you're still not going to be optimal. So that proves it. Night shift mode, not worth it.